Mostly fabric. Well, foam and fabric, does it have sand in it? So, bags there can be filled with all sorts of different things. Most of them are a combination of dense foam and some sort of fabric. Uh, you know, they would probably use uh, individual fabric fibers in a big brand like Everlast. But like in a homemade brand like uh, like uh, Pro or something like that, that they, they make these themselves. They probably literally have pieces of fabric in here. Let's look at this ringside bag. It's kind of coming apart and you see all the individual pieces of fabric coming out. So there's probably a dense foam in the center lined by this dense fabric that... Uh, what, a, what about bags filled with water? I've seen those too. Those are good. Those are good because you don't have that kind of uh, repercussion impact that really hurts you when you work heavy, heavy bags. I'm sure any boxer who spent years boxing knows that sometimes you work in the bag and all of a sudden your back hurts or something like that. It's because you're having this super heavy, dense thing. And when you hit it, ah, the, the, the force is going to be you know, applied right there from your base to what you're trying to hit that's not moving. Remember, a, a real thing that you're trying to strike, like a human head, is going to give when you hit it. But then when you hit a 150 pound bag, it doesn't give so easily and end up hurting your limbs, your joints, your lower back. So the water bag is helping for that. Small bags are a little bit more dense, all right? I like this better, all right? It's more like a head. It's dense like a head. It's small like a head, but it gives because this elastic band that's placed on the bottom, and that's a good thing. So I hit it, and it gives a little bit, just like my opponent should when I hit him. Is there, what's your favorite bag in a gym to work on when you're working out? I really like the Devil Ends type bags. This one's cool because it's it's versatile and it's give you a lot of good angles. Like a human head, I can come a lot of different places. But probably the most effective piece of equipment that you can get good at in the gym is here, the double end bag. And it's good because it gives you something to strike. It's small like a head, so it gives you something to be precise about. But it moves, it ricochets, it reacts to your shots. So you have to work timing and distance just like a real opponent. And you don't just get to put shots together stupidly like you do on a 150 pound bag. This bag, you gotta really start working and you can practice head movement. But this bag's at your height. Sometimes these bags are this tall or that tall. Why is that? Ellie, it's no coincidence that every bag in my gym is exactly my height. <laughs> That's always something. <laughs> People like me don't get bad and it gets better. So there you have it here at Outlaw. Stay tuned. You know what I just thought about? Ah. How about they do a, a double end bag in the shape of a human head? Like with a chin and a nose, so when you throw punches at it, you're actually going to aim for a chin? Too much money. I think that's a great idea. Buy. They have those. They uh, can use you as the model. <laughs> I think I did too much money and nobody would buy it. I, Jewish mind had it. I think I would. I think it would make sense. They have those 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 dummies, urethane right. dummies, but Bob. they don't end up being realistic. Bob, go Bob. Yeah, Bob. Whatever. Yeah, they they they're not realistic though, because you hit that thing hard, it just falls over. Right. No, but I'm saying, what about a double end bag in the shape of a human? So then, if I want to aim for a chin, I get a chin. Can you put like a copyright on the bottom of this video? I think, <laughs> I think somebody's gonna be uh, uh, running away with see it. Ya. Thank you, boss. Later, man. All right, later. I see you. Okay. So, there you have it, Brandon Carlos here at Outlaws. Stay tuned for more. Facebook.com and Melissa Back Reporting.